Hey everyone and welcome to this sexy back workout to strengthen and tone your back without any equipment. This workout focuses on precise Pilates movements to strengthen your spine, tone your back, and improve your posture. Now you can achieve a lot if you stay focused throughout these 10 minutes and remember you can always pair this workout with a few other workouts or join me on Patreon for exclusive full length class style workouts and help to support my channel. Now let's begin in four point kneeling. Starting with a spinal wave, trying to articulate fluidly through the spine. Now come back to four point kneeling for bird dog. Reach the opposite arm to leg away and then draw your elbow into the knee. Continue on the same side, pressing through your palm and pinky finger. Now hold it here and take it into a diagonal reach, reaching your arm and leg to the corners of the room and bringing it back through center. Do your best to keep your hips level. Now reach it to the diagonal line and hold it here. You're gonna drop your hand and toe towards the floor and give it two pulses at the top. Drop, lift, and pulse. Drop, lift, and pulse. Not only is this amazing to strengthen all the muscles down your spine, but it really works into the shoulder and glutes as well. Bring it back through center and let's change to the other side. Reach your arm and opposite leg long and then pull your elbow to knee. Do your best to keep your hips level and keep pressing through that palm and pinky finger. Keep your island looking down at the mat so you keep the back of the neck long. Now reach your hand and toe to the corners of your room and bring it back through center. Keep reaching for that diagonal line and square it back off. There's a lot of balance involved here. Do your best to keep your abs tight. Now we're going to reach our hand and toe towards the floor and give it a little pulse at the top. Tap, lift, and pulse. Tap, lift, and pulse. Good, now bring it back through center, tuck your toes and hover your knees off the floor. You're going to row one elbow up to the ceiling and then the other. Do your best to keep your hips down. Knees are just floating two inches off your mat. Really squeeze into those shoulder blades each time you lift that elbow up to the ceiling. Try not to rock too much side to side. Now lie all the way down into your front and we're going to do a shoulder mobilizer. So hover your upper body just an inch off the floor, tap the back of your head, sweep your arms out to the side and then hands come behind your lower back. So palms are down as you tap your head and then your palms flip up as they come to your lower back. And now we're going to place our hands right underneath your shoulders 
and we're going to take a back extension. So you're just going to inhale lift and exhale lower. Now to challenge yourself, take your hands to your forehead and lift and lower. It's going to be a slightly heavier movement. So if you need to, go ahead and pop your hands back underneath your shoulders. And now try to take your hands to the sides of your head and we're going to just rotate one elbow to the floor and then the other. Good, really squeezing from one shoulder blade to the other as you rotate through that upper back. Now lower it down and bend your knees and flex your feet. Arms will reach out into a goal post position. Now we're going to lift our forearms and thighs off the floor, squeeze your elbows to your hips, release and lower the whole shape down. We're just hovering the upper body a little bit off the floor. So this movement is really going to focus on your lats. So all those muscles down the sides of your back, but it's also going to work into your hamstrings and glutes as well. Now take your feet wider and let your heels drop inwards. Hands come underneath the shoulders and I just want you to inhale, press your palms into the floor and peel your chest off the mat and then slowly roll yourself back down. So taking it into that beautiful full extension and if your arms don't want to fully extend, that's absolutely fine. So now I want you to lift up with soft elbows and reach one arm forward, back down, and then the other arm forward and back down. And if you feel confident, go ahead and lift all the way up into that full swan stretch and take it into your swan dive. You're trying to hold the swan stretch with your back extensors. Now release lower down and push your hips back to your heels and take a rest in your shell stretch. And let's release. Roll yourself up and flip yourself around and lie down onto your back. You're going to bend your arms and press your elbows into the floor. Squeeze those shoulder blades together as you lift your chest up. Now to make it a little bit easier, you can bend your knees and keep your feet flat on the floor. But if you feel good, keep those legs long. And now bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, and take it into your glute bridge, lifting your hips up and down, squeezing through those hamstrings and glutes, driving those heels through the floor. This one is great to strengthen your lower back. Good, now roll yourself up and quickly flip yourself around into four point kneeling, tuck the toes, hover the knees, and keep those knees glued together as you twist those knees from one side to the other. From one side to the other. So we're getting a nice twist through the waistline here as if you're wringing out a t-shirt. Good, now release. Place your forearms down on the floor, tuck your toes and lift your hips up to the ceiling. This is our dolphin hold. Just do your best to draw those abs in and up and then draw your shoulders away from your ears. This inversion is great to strengthen those muscles down your back. Mm -hmm. 
and release your knees down and come back up onto your hands. We're going to finish with our puppy dog stretch. So walk your hands forward and let your chest release to the floor. And if you want, you can take your eyeline to look forward to your fingertips. Do your best to keep those hips right over your knees. Good, take a deep breath in and out. Walk your hands back in to four point kneeling and release. Great job, you guys, you did it. I hope you enjoyed that focused workout to tone up your back. The better your form gets on these exercises, the more effective the workout becomes. So keep practicing. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. You can find me on social or support my channel by joining me on Patreon for exclusive workouts. Can't wait to see you on our next session. Bye guys.